Hey guys. I feel like every YouTuber says, hey guys, in the beginning, and we get, you know, shit for it, but it just feels right to say. I'll try out some different ones. Maybe it'll sound more natural unless, like, everybody's doing it. Hey, everyone. No. That wasn't even close. That was, uh, hey, guys. Things have been going pretty well on the channel, so, you know, I thought I'd up the production value a little bit. I don't want to change the feel, you know, of these videos, but I thought maybe just, like, small trick um, could do it, so I just, you know... The last two videos I covered people that I really didn't like at all and I thought they were doing something very wrong. I don't really know how to put it into words. I'll just say that the stuff I'm reacting to today will probably just make you go, hmm. Today I'm talking about Brent Rivera. People have made videos on him before. If you don't know him, he was a Viner and then Instagram star and is also a YouTuber. And his stuff isn't good. It's just not, but that's not what this video is about. People have talked about his sketches before, but about three months ago, Brent caught my attention because he uploaded a video called Extreme Sibling Yoga Challenge in Target. And my first thought was, what? So I clicked on that video and saw this. We're going to be doing the Extreme Yoga Challenge. So I did a poll on my Instagram and you guys told us to do it in Target. Are you excited? <laughs> Brent gave two options for the poll of where he should do a yoga challenge and it was my house and Target and a third of the people voted for his house. Why? <laughs> Why were those the two options? Why wasn't it like Walmart or Target? I don't know why it's such a common theme on my channel that I have to keep saying this. Stop bothering people in public. If I'm in a Target, I don't wanna see Brent Rivera doing yoga with his sister in the middle of the aisle. That would ruin my day. Oh, you do this on the escalator? We might, we might do this on the escalator. Wait, hold on, I'm too scared. Cause if you fall back, I die. <laughs> Is it me? I don't know if this is just me. That seems weird. It seems like you're crossing some kind of boundary. I don't know. I don't want to be too judgmental about that until I show you guys the rest of the stuff. So I'll just show you when they succeeded at doing this pose on the escalator. Hey Brent, let me ask you something. What the fuck is that face you're making? Why are you doing that right now? It seems very inappropriate to be making that face while you're doing yoga poses with your younger sister, dude. That's weird. I don't care. I'm gonna get some people in the comments, I'm sure. They're just enjoying yoga together. Is that the face you make? when you're enjoying yoga. Now, if you think I was being a little too judgmental about the yoga stuff and think that they weren't crossing the line, let's jump over to Brent's Never Have I Ever video with his mom. So today we are playing Never Have I Ever. Never have I ever licked somebody's toes. Okay, that's gross, Brent. Have I licked someone's toes? That's so gross. Wait, have I? I feel like I have. You have? All right, that one is pretty weird to ask your mom and yourself, but for this video, he said that his sister wrote the questions. Me having seen the other ones, I don't believe that at all because they're the same questions that he writes for other videos. So I'll show you later, but Brent definitely wrote these questions down. So I gotta say, why are you asking your mom about licking toes? All right, mom, next one. Never have I ever been able to get this paper open. <laughs> Never have I ever been to a nude beach. You have? When? Yeah, we just went to Greece last year and there's a ton of nude beaches. Ew, that's so gross. I wasn't nude. I mean, I was at the nude beach and there were some people that oh, were nude. I thought you were walking no, around. No, 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 oh stop. Again, why are these the questions that you decided to never have I ever with your mom? Brent makes kids content. So why is he making sexually charged content? Why is he doing that? All right, never have I ever not worn underwear. What? What did you just ask? First off, everyone's not worn underwear, so we know the answer to that question immediately. But why 
Are you asking your mom? Yeah, the answer is going to be yes, but you don't want to hear that sitting next to her, and you definitely don't want to broadcast it to millions of people. I have worn underwear. I have Wait, not I'm worn confused. underwear. Which one do we do? You no, because never have I ever not worn it. So that means you haven't worn underwear, and you don't need to know when that was because that's why. <laughs> so by now you're probably catching on that the theme that I was talking about is that Brent uses his mom and sister for a clickbait and to keep people watching by bringing sex into it. It's weird. These aren't the only videos I have. But even though it might feel innocent or if they're fine with it, it's just gross. That's probably because your underwear is always dirty because you never did the laundry. She always brings it back to the laundry. I swear, every single yeah, time. Yeah, Brent, do your laundry. Yeah, what she said. Hey, I kind of like you. I kind of like you too. Maybe we should meet up and pick on Brent sometime. I don't like this. I don't like that. Here's what I don't get about Brent's videos is he'll have these moments. A never have I ever game should be completely genuine. It shouldn't be a planned sketch. But then the mom just talked to fake Brent mom. So, is every reaction fake here? Are they faking a video that doesn't need to be? You could just answer the questions and it would be the same video. You don't have to pretend. Let's move on to the other Never Have I Ever videos. There's two of them and they're both with Brent's sister and according to his title, her boyfriend. But then in it, they talk about them hooking up. Um, so I don't know if they're dating or not. I don't really care. But I'm gonna call him the boyfriend for the rest of this because it's easier. Bye! What's up everyone and welcome back to my YouTube channel. I am here with my sister. Lexi, hey guys. And also Ben. What's up? And we are about to play Never Have I Ever. Hey. No. Never have I ever broken something of my mom's and didn't tell her. I definitely have. Me too. You have? Yeah, mom's perfume bottle. I looked it up afterwards. It was like $120. No. So yeah. You broke what? Okay, another fake bit in the Never Have I Ever game. How much is real and how much is fake? I don't know. Moving on. All right, here we go. Lexi, your turn. Never have I ever kissed someone in my parents' room. Go. I have. Me too. Gross. Gross? You, you kiss your mom too in her bedroom? Not when we were little, we kiss our mom and stuff. Technically, yeah. Well, there you go. So I forgot to say this while I was filming, so I'll say it now. I just hate how Brent reacts like surprised that she thinks it's a weird question. Obviously the first thing she thinks about isn't gonna be giving her mom a kiss when she was a young child. That just kind of pissed me off. So I set up my entire microphone and I'm realizing that it probably wasn't worth it. So let's keep going. Never have I ever practiced kissing on my pillow. I have. You guys are so weird. Oh, you have it? No. Oh yes you have. Boom. A lot of these questions are about like kissing when he's sitting in between his sister and her boyfriend. So I'll ask you, Brent, again, why did you write these questions? Why are you trying to get details about your sister making out with a guy while you're sitting in between them? Like he planned these. He planned these questions. He wrote them down. Okay, next one. All right, here we go. Ooh, never have I ever secretly made out with my friend's sibling. <laughs> Three. Two, one. Oh no, I'm caught. If you're titling the video what it's titled, they all know that the two of them made out. Never have I ever made out with someone in this room before? That's not a question. Does it matter? Yes, it does. That's uh, not fair. We have to answer it. It's not on the paper. Does it matter? Caleb, isn't that fair? I can yes. ask. It's my video. It's my video. I can ask whatever question, that right? That's not fair. Yes, yes, yeah. Caleb? It's your video. You can ask the question. Caleb. All right, here we go. What? Who's Caleb? Why does he have the final decision over Brent's videos? Okay, so since I filmed, I've been crunching the numbers and just going over his entire channel. I was trying to edit the video and I just kept thinking, who is Caleb? And then I found it out. Here, in the end of the Target video, Caleb is in the video. But when Brent makes one on Fortnite dances in real life, Caleb's not in the video. Or is he? Caleb is Fortnite. I know. Pretty crazy. So, um, let's keep going. Never have I ever fantasized about someone in this room. Who wrote these? I wrote them. It's that like, is so I'm, unfair. No, it's not. It's my video. I can write the questions, right, Caleb? I know he wrote these questions to do the joke of the overly protective brother. Brent, you have to answer these questions. So why would you write that? Why would you write a question about fantasizing about someone in the room with a sibling in the room? All right, let's answer the question. Here we go. Three, two, one. Nope. 
Oh, that's no, nice. guys, that's not that's no. I am fair. not answering this question. No, together. no, I am literally done with this game. He said that he made out with Brent's sister, so why is it weird to? Answer this question. That video was about a month ago, and then they did another Never Have I Ever with the three of them, three days ago. And we're gonna do a part two to the Never Have I Ever because you guys asked for it. I think I said 100K likes and we would do a part two. So um, the only exception was that I have to write the questions. So Brent, I get to write the questions this time. Uh, too late, I already wrote up. Ooh. This one's juicy, guys. I'm not ready for this one. Never Have I Ever wanted to make out with my brother's friend. What? Never ever wanted to make out with my brother's friend. I'm answering that. That's literally directly toward me. You guys can't even answer that. That's the same question from the last video. Except the question from the last one was, have I made out with my brother's friend? And she said, yes. So why is the idea of it now some crazy thing? The logic of these videos don't make any sense. So they have to be all fake, I feel. So now I'm assuming all these videos are fake. And in the end of this one, Ben slips in a question that Brent didn't approve. Never have I ever went through my sister's phone to sabotage her relationship. What? That was, I didn't write that. I wrote it. What do you mean you wrote it? You put one in? It's in the hat, man. You gotta answer it. Did you actually just put this in? It's in the hat. Ben, you can't do that. All right. Ben, you can't. Three, no. two, one, exposed. It was one time. It was one time. Oh my. Let's finish all the questions in the hat. He has this common thing where he jokes about how he's an overprotective brother. And I don't know how much is true in real life to him making those jokes. Because it's got to come from some point of truth. But I have no idea why Brent would want to spread to millions of people that he ruined his sister's relationship by betraying her trust and going on her phone. I guess he wanted it in there though, so he seemed like an overprotective brother. It just comes off as creepy and weird. Answer the question. Never have I ever wanted to make out with my brother's friend. There you go. Just, you guys can just do it right now. I, I, I think they would enjoy it. I think I think they want to see. I think everyone wants to see. 100k <laughs> likes and this next video no. will have them make out in front of you guys. I didn't agree don't to this. Like I don't want to see that. I don't want to see you force your sister to make out with her boyfriend in front of you. That's your little sister, and you're saying that the audience would love it if she made out with someone on camera. That's called using her for views. We haven't said my favorite one yet, so I think the last one is the one, remember when I put it in the back? Never have I ever made out with someone named Lexi. <laughs> okay, you guys are answering it too, right? Maybe you have, maybe you How am I, I even supposed to answer it? <laughs> Three, two, one. Hit that like button if no, uh, don't hit that like button. I don't, <laughs> don't want to do it. What was it? Hit that like button if you guys want to watch them make out. How many likes? All right, all right. If this video gets no, 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 no. If this video gets 300k likes, we're gonna watch them make out. Also, subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. That's fully exploiting your sister for views. Even though she didn't do it, you're saying you want 100,000 likes so she'll do it in the next video. Which leads me to believe my suspicions in the other videos are true. That when he asks those questions, he wants to get more views, he wants people to come back because they're attracted to his sister. And that's what I call weird. You shouldn't do that. That's what I call weird as hell, fellas and ladies. The video came out three days ago. It has 1.2 million views and 207,000 likes. So they're probably on track for him to do that. I don't wanna see that, Brent. Take that as my dislike, is this entire video is just pleading, don't make your sister make out on camera. She clearly doesn't wanna do it, don't do it for views. But that's not the creepiest and weirdest it gets. I saved the worst for last. Six months ago, Brent did another one of these videos with his little sister and cousin. His cousin is a child. And most of the video is pretty innocent. Questions about like blaming farts on other people and farting in pub. There's a lot of weird fart questions in it. But at one point, his little sister asks this question. Never have I ever left my house without underwear. You should never ask a child that. No matter what fun game you're playing, that's so inappropriate to do in front of a kid. You went too far, Brent. You went too far. I miss when you just take your shirt off and put a wig on as your mom and play Taylor Swift music when you made memes about no food being in the fridge. You were on, you were on top. You were my hero, Brent. You're my fucking hero, dude. So to finish things off, I just want to deliver a message to Brent Rivera if you're watching this video. You can keep making Instagram memes where you take your shirt off. You can do those pranks in public if you're really not bothering people. That's fine. I don't really have a problem with that, dude. Do you. But don't sexualize. 
your family. That's weird. Please stop it, Brent. Look me in my eyes and tell me you're gonna stop. Thank you to Helen, Gen Z, Hannah, Carrie, Business Vulture, Maddie, Bernard, Sophia, Damien, Gabrielle, Julia, Child of Burback, Cheeseburger Jim, Amber, Casey, Liz, Aurora, Danny, Kimberly, Diana, Adam, Julia, Adrian, Noah, Reese, Amanda, Ashley, Jesse, Dave and Janet. Thank you so much, guys.